is Dr. Socorro Orozco, and I am a lecturer here at Cal State LA. I teach in the Charter College of Education. I think a lot of it had to do with my uh, dad's example. My dad is an elementary school and high school math teacher. I was always inspired to um, be a teacher. Um, I'm the only one of my siblings who chose that career, uh, right? And I didn't start college thinking I was going to be a college professor. That was not the plan. Um, I wanted to be a preschool teacher, and I did that for a while. And when I was getting my BA, one of my professors gave me, you know, the, the planted that seed. Like, did you want to think about, you know, uh, maybe getting your BA, maybe getting a credential? Um, to open more doors, and I, I, I did. I went into a credential program and child development program at Cal State LA, and that's where other professors actually continue to nurture that interest. That would be a great uh, thing to do for my intellectual growth, my academic growth, and I went into a master's degree, started teaching uh, uh, elementary school and middle school after being invited to be a lecturer here. Um, after a couple of years, I was like, okay, I think I can consider a doctorate. I have worked really hard to redefine obstacles in my life into um, learning experiences. Right? Academically, I, I really struggled um, to see myself as a writer. Right? I am an immigrant in this country, and even though I've felt I was a very good reader, good writer in Spanish. Making that transition to learn a, a new language as a teenager was very challenging, mostly because I struggled to really express my feelings in this new uh, language. And so you, I kind of lost interest in, you know, improving my skills, uh, my writing skills for a while created a lot of um, problems uh, as an undergrad, uh, especially my first, you know, three, four years because I I avoided it. I avoided, you know, getting better. I avoided um, the practice of writing um, because it just didn't feel good. Uh, and so afterwards, I had this amazing honors uh, thesis writer, writing uh, professor who um, was very focused on uh, developing skills, right? like writing skills, not just the content in the writing, which I got from a lot of professors. Like, your ideas is really, are really good, but you will get better at this, 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 and that. But I didn't have much direction on how to do that. So my senior writing um, class was all about improving the skills. And so that gave me a lot of confidence to apply, to feel like I was worthy of going into a graduate program. Personally, I always had to work. I always had to have at least a part-time job that helped me pay for my rent and, you know, my little car and, you know, my food. Um, so it was, there's always this battle on, like, well, if I had more time to dedicate to reading this or writing about this or, you know, thinking about this, and it would be different. It was um, a beautiful act on behalf of many teachers who had the, that direction, right, the guidance, the mentoring to um, organize and advocate for themselves in this monumental uh, strike. It gave us an opportunity to analyze the, the times, right, where we are right now. So, um, personally, it was a, um, a way for me to see people with whom I have worked here on campus. First, I was out there with my baby. Um, you know, I carried her because it was raining, it was cold. Mostly some, you know, who have been my students um, before or in the past. Uh, so personally, it gave me an opportunity uh, to expose my, my daughter, my two-year-old uh, daughter, to what people can do when they put their voices together.